Hi, welcome to the first video in this series. My name is Jaw Diggity, and this is a Football Manager 2023 with a little bit of difference. The plan is to find the smallest place that I can that would be able to get into the 20th tier of English football based on the databases that I've managed to find. So a big thank you to those that have uh, created that database and your names are in the comments. The first thing that I'm going to do is create myself in uh, Football Manager 2023. So first thing I'm going to put in my name, George Iggedy and then put in a couple of details. So my hometown of Cheltenham. Okay. Next thing is uh, I've taken a, a picture here. It's a very grumpy mug shot, of course. Um, uh, my concern was if I smiled too much for the photo, it might create a bit of a, you know, a joker expression. So we're going with marking out the little points here so that we can use the photo to create a 3D rendering of myself. So let's find the shaved head option for the baldy man. There we go. Already looking a bit better. Uh, so I need to get some glasses. Uh, I want to go for a style that's similar to mine. Uh, next up, uh, facial hair. So um, I'm a little bit stubbly in the picture. I'm not sure I actually like the, the CG stubble. Oh no, that makes me look a little bit like um, a Bond villain. Um, uh, let's get some eyebrows, nothing too massive, oh, yeah, okay, they're, they're pretty good, I think that's a pretty decent representation of me. Uh, next, uh, we're going to do suit and stuff before we can get to that earring, so let's have a look. Uh, black shoes, I think, always a good bet, uh, let's go for a mismatch, or at least not a single colour, so some grey trousers. Um, light blue tie, dark blue jacket, like that. Uh, let's get rid of the earring because I don't do earrings. Um, there we go, that's got rid of the earring. And uh, now let's see, all the way down to the 20th level. So let's find out who would be in the 20th level. So we've got Central and South Norfolk League Division 4, and then we've got uh, Devon and Exeter uh, Division 8 so let's see where what teams predicted to finish last so let's see who's going to come last North Taunton sorry North Taunton would be uh, predicted to come last. So I want to pick the lowest team. This is going to be a brand new club, essentially. So they would have no um, no real standing. We can uh, edit things like the uh, everything apart from finances, facilities, reputation, and continental qualification. Well, they're probably not going to qualify for anything continental-wise, so that's going to be fine. Smallest place in Devon and Exeter. Let's have a look for that. So Hatherley uh, looks like it's going to be the smallest town in Devon uh, and that's fine. Uh, but do Hatherley have a team? That is the big question. I don't want to be doubling up this work and making a, a team that is already in the system. So let's have a look. Uh, it does look like they have uh, a club and a youth team as well. Let's see what their Facebook has to say. Let's see. Uh, they have two teams in Devon and Exeter Football League. Um, but they're not down here in the 20th level. So I'm curious where... Where do they fall? Um, let's have a look. Some nice graphics, actually. Like nice work. Um, so let's see. Are they in the nineteenth league, uh, which would be Division Seven? Uh, uh, their reserves are in the nineteenth. Okay. So then they must be senior team. Must be a little bit further up. So. Devon and Exeter Division 6. 
No, I don't see them there. So let's go to the next one. So level 17. Let's see. No, I don't see them there. So fair play, Hatherley. Um, let's see. So division four. No. 15th. No. Okay, let's go up tier. Fourteen, so d d d division two. Uh, no, let's keep going. Thirteenth, uh, uh, division one. There we are. So they're in division one of the Devon and Exeter League. So uh, to keep with my plan, we're going to have to look in Central and South Norfolk. Uh, so let's have a look smallest places uh, in Norfolk uh, so Belton is the smallest settlement apparently um, do they have a team they do have a team so we can't play as Belton so let's have a look let's Google map it let's go for somewhere south uh, what have we got here so Bannum, um, let's look for somewhere around here. Bannum, not tiny. Um, looking for somewhere a little bit smaller. What have we got? Uh, let's zoom. Oh, okay. Fursfield. It's caught my eye. Wow, yeah, tiny place. This would be great. A little parish. Um, handful of buildings. Probably doesn't have a football club. Let's see. So, Fakenham, Fakenham, uh, have one. Um, Firstfield. Actually, let's zoom in on it. Yep, yeah, so definitely Firstfield in Norfolk. Um, Dis, Dis Town. <laughs> Makes me think of the old specials town, special song Dis Town. Oh, you're coming like a ghost town. So, no offense, Dis, but it's an earworm, isn't it? Once it's in there, it's hard to get out. Uh, yeah, so it is a small little parish, uh, which is also a village and former civil parish, so that's great. Uh, formerly of Bressingham. Uh, right, so I want to make a club badge. Is there anything that comes up for first field, like a coat of arms? Um, let's have a look. So there are coats of arms, but is that first field? Uh, so no, Norfolk Diocese, Norfolk, no, nothing specific to the area. And I also want to find the team to replace, which would be tough. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Stoke United would be predicted to finish 13th. So that would put them as the club we're going to replace. So let's make ourselves a club logo. So I like the shield. Um, and I had done a little bit of research before this. So we're going to put them down as 2022 formed so that they can actually take part from that year. And we're going to go with uh, Fursfield Farriers uh, because look on the Wikipedia, uh, it was somewhere that heifers were, were left to graze. And I know farriers are um, for horses, but uh, Fursfield heifer grazing, I, yeah, I just don't think that's going to work. So um, we've done a main logo, which I'm going to put in the background of these videos. Uh, let's go for the actual club badge badge. Oh, there's one little dot there. So there we go. We've got a badge. Um, make sure I'm spelling first field right. Uh, we're going to go with the nickname of the Farriers. Um, stadium name. We're going to actually steal um, the um, local club. Uh, so there we go. But it was Green Lane. Um, and it does fall under Dis. So let's put that in properly. There we go, dis, lovely. Uh, so there's a few things that we can edit. I mean, there's a two grand budget, which is a bit weird. Um, I don't wanna keep any staff, to be fair. I want to go from a completely 
non-existent team and stuff um, we now need to do some kits so home kit I want to make it look as much like our logo as possible let's go with that one uh, and let's go for like a sky blue and then we want to go for like a darker deeper navy sort of royal bluish something like that so yeah I like that um, we need to make the number stand out so let's um, black let's see uh, I don't know um, we kind of went with the dark blue in the text for the logo so let's go what does it look like with the deep blue a little bit deeper same thing for the shorts we're gonna go the deep blue and you know what let's go light blue on the socks to um, put a bit of contrast awake it so uh, we want something that's going to let us reverse the colors I think um, so we'll go with uh, predominantly uh, lighter blue for the majority and then just some dark blue uh, for the stripes but then we've got to do the number on the back which is currently white but it's not really not really showing up against the light blue so let's put it in the deep yeah yeah that works so we're going to go light blue on these as well and you know what let's go dark blue on the socks because you know that's just sort of inverting what we'd already done uh we've got home kit we've got away kit uh goalkeeping oh no goalkeeping kit so let's uh sort that out black is kind of cool but it's not really gonna fit with the um aesthetic so let's I don't want to go like the bright green um, what goes orange kind of goes with and then we want to add sh shorts socks uh, let's just go really easy let's just all go full color nothing fancy all orange there we go easy um, and then away kit for the goalie so we're going light blue uh, let's throw the different elements in and then yeah I'm tempted to go black but I just don't think it would work I think it would be too dark so let's do I want to change the design no no we'll just go simple all one color for for goalies and let's go with um, turquoisey no purple yeah actually yeah purple uh, oh no that's a little bit too pinky purple yeah yeah that works and then same colors easy peasy there we go All right so we've got uh kits done uh edit relationships nothing to edit fine uh affiliations no affiliations fine miscellaneous uh reputation um I want to knock this down we're a brand new club we've got no reputation so let's go with uh, minimum value is one so yeah one uh, morale minimum value is one fine club attendance uh, let's go with one because we're a brand new club uh, let's just pretend that we can't get uh, the word out to begin with and then yeah that's good I'm happy with that and yeah so let's go let's create uh, delete all of the players out as well now I've got no experience uh, at all so we're gonna make that as low as possible uh, and personally I have little to no attacking defending or uh, fitness knowledge in terms of football so let's knock them all the way down to one 
but I think in terms of dealing with the mental side of the, of coaching, I would probably have um, more skill in that area. Um, so yeah, mental and motivating as well um, would probably be more my strength than player knowledge. Um, so let's get rid of that. And let's see, determination. Uh, can I get the board to do what I want? Well, probably not at this stage because, you know, it's early days, adaptability, playing in a foreign league. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to leave this club, so I don't need anything to help me in a foreign league. Uh, but motivating, uh, that is what I would think I would be fairly good at um, dealing with motivation. So let's put all the points in there. Looks good to me. Um, let me create that. Uh, da -da. Nope, not adding additional managers. It's just me. And confirm. Um, oh, it's thinking. It's thinking. There we go. So uh, we've created uh, first field farriers. We've made a logo. We've um, wiped out all of any players that had been there there's no um, backroom staff there's nothing like that to get in the way so first video done so next thing is going to be dealing with the different quarters of the of the seasons uh, I'm going to do it quarterly uh, because I want to track how I improve uh, my stats as a uh, manager and how the team grows uh, based on a few metrics um, and it just feels like a uh, a nice tidy thing to do is to to do it one quarter at a time so um, what I'm gonna do is uh, wrap this one up and then video number two will be us actually starting to get some players in see if I can get some backroom staff um, put a tactic together and, and that side of things so thanks for watching uh, if you do like this video or you're intrigued by what I'm trying to do um, a little like and subscribe um, just so that I know that I'm you know, making some interesting content um, and I will see you in the next video.